right, this is chapter seven, lesson one, equations. All right, so a blank is a mathematical sentence showing two expressions are equal. An equation contains a blank blank. In those blanks, you're going to write equation and equal sign. So an equation is a mathematical sentence showing two expressions are equal. An equation contains an equal sign, which is denoted with the equal sign. Okay? So if I'm solving addition and subtraction equations mentally, which means I'm doing them in my brain, I'm not writing anything down. Okay? When you replace a variable with a value that represent that results in a true sentence, you blank the equation. In that blank, you're going to write solve. That value for the variable is the blank of the equation. In that blank, you're going to write solution. So when you replace a variable with a value that results in a true sentence, you solve the equation. That value for the variable is the solution of the equation. All right, so I have an example here. 2 plus x equals 9. You can tell it's an equation because it has an equal sign. That's what makes it an equation. Otherwise, it's just an expression. The value for the variable that results in a true sentence is 7. Because 2 plus 7 equals 9. So this sentence is true. So my value for x is 7. When I'm solving multiplication and division equations mentally, Multiplication and division equations are solved in very similar ways that you would addition or subtraction. You have to think about what times what will give me that answer, or what divided by what will give me the answer. Okay? So I want to know for my first problem is 3, 4, or 5, the solution of the equation a plus 7 equals 12. So I can do a couple of different things. I can either just go check through them each, or I can write everything down. So, for the value of a is 3, my equation was a plus 7 equals 12. I substitute in 3 for a. 3 plus 7 gives me 10. So this, 3, is not a solution. I do the same thing for 4. 4 plus 7 is 11, so that is not a solution. And then I do it for 5. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. 12 does equal 12, so that is my solution. So 5 is my solution. Okay. I can solve g minus 7 equals 3 mentally. So I think, what number minus 3 gives me 7? So 10 minus 7 gives me 3. You know that 10 minus 7 equals 3, so the solution is 10. Okay, number three. The total cost of a pair of skates and knee pads is $78. The skates cost $54. Use the guess, check, and revise strategy to solve the equation 54 plus K equals 78 to find K, the cost of the knee pads. So, I can do a couple of different things. Okay, I'm going to first look at the equation that they gave me, which is 54 plus K equals 78. Then I'm going to think of a number that's probably going to get me relatively close to 78. Okay? Well, 5 to 7, that's 2. So I'm going to try 20 first. 54 plus k equals 78, and I substitute in 20 for k. 54 plus 20 is 74. 74 is not equal to 78, but it's really close. So I'm going to try 22. 54 plus 22 is 76. Also not quite there yet, so I'm going to go up again by 2. Okay. 54 plus 24 does equal 78, so 24 is my answer. So the knee pads cost $24. All right, so next I want to solve 24 divided by S equals 8 mentally. So I'm going to think about it. What 24 divided by what will get me 8? 
So division, I can think about inverse operations too. The opposite of division is multiplication. So I can think eight times what gives me 24, okay? Well, eight times three gives me 24. So 24 divided by three equals eight. So the solution is three. All right, so there are five try it out problems. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, try them out, and when you're done, we'll go over the answers together. All right, now that you've had a chance to try out the try it problems, let's go over the answers together. So the first one I have is two, three, or four, the solution of the equation two n equals eight. So I'm actually looking at multiplication here. So I wanna think, does two, three, or four give me eight? So two times two, equals four, that doesn't give me eight. Two times three equals six, that doesn't give me eight. Two times four equals eight, so that's my solution. Four is the solution. Okay, for letter B, I have solve 32 divided by X equals four mentally. So I wanna think about it. What divided by 32 will get me four? I can also look at it backwards. Four times what gives me 32? So X equals eight because eight times four gives me 32. So 32 divided by eight has to get me four, all right? For letter C, solve nine minus X equals three mentally. So nine minus what gives me three? Nine minus six gives me three. All right, letter D is four, five, or six, the solution of the equation C plus five equals 11. So I'm gonna go and check through. Four plus five equals nine. Five plus five equals 10. Six plus five equals 11. So that means my solution has to be six. For letter E, the difference between an ostrich speed and a chicken speed is 32 miles per hour. An ostrich can run at a speed of 42 miles per hour. Use mental math or the guess check and revise strategy to solve the equation 42 minus C equals 32 to find C. The speed of the chicken can run. The speed of the chicken can run. So 42 minus C equals 32. And I have to figure out what C equals, what my chicken speed is, okay? So 42 minus what gives me 32? Well, 42 minus 10 gives me 32. So my chicken speed is 10. And that is the end of chapter seven, lesson one.